sends you head over heels, upside down, six breathtaking times. But I wouldn't keep him waiting if I were you. <laughs> Feel the grip of Vortex before it's too late. As you cross the top of Vortex's lift hill, you go into a right-handed turn which sends you into your main drop. You fall 138 feet at a 55 degree angle before bottoming out and reaching your max speed of 55 miles per hour. This turnaround was pretty janky, but it was still fun as it gave you a nice panoramic view of that side of the park. After turning around, you enter a straightaway which sends you into your first two inversions, two back-to-back -back vertical loops. These weren't insanely forceful or anything. They were just smooth and fun. After this, you pop in to the mid-course break run. After coming to a near-complete stop, you might think that this will ruin the rest of the ride. However, it makes it better. The next two elements are two back-to-back -back corkscrews that give insane hang time. It is ridiculous, and you feel like you are about to fall out of the train. After turning out of the corkscrews, you enter into your final two inversions, a batwing. Just like the vertical loops, these aren't intense, but it's still fun, and it lacks head banging. Then you fly in to your final helix that sends you right into the brakes. Vortex was an aerodynamics custom looping coaster that operated at Kings Island from 1987 to the end of 2019. Vortex had a max height of 148 feet, a max drop of 138 feet, a max speed of 55 miles an hour, and a length of 3,800 feet of track. It also featured six inversions and a duration of two minutes and 30 seconds. Now let's move on to our categories, starting with the first one, presentation. Once arriving at Vortex's entrance, you would see a massive orange sign that simply read the words Vortex. After passing under it, you would enter an upward staircase which would then take you over the brake run. Then you would spiral back down into the station. Depending on how busy it was the day you were there, you would either enter a small set of cattle pens and wait no more than 15 minutes, or you would immediately hop right on the coaster, which was the case most days. Then you would usually get to pick your row because this coaster never had a line, and that was unfortunately the main reason why it got removed, but I'll get to that later. The queue had no theming, however, it was fully shaded, so that's definitely a plus. I'm gonna give Vortex an 8 out of 10 for this category. Despite having no theming, it was still presented very nicely and looked great. Now it's time for our next category, the ride experience. Most people I talked to hated on Vortex for its rough transitions that caused headbanging. However, I never found that to be an issue. Yeah, old arrows like Vortex don't have the best transitions, but on this coaster, they never really got to me, and it was a whole lot better than riding Ninja at Six Flags St. Louis. Since I have Kings Island as my home park, I got to ride Vortex a whole lot more than some other people, and I rode it on its good and bad days, and I never once found it to be unbearably rough. So for ride experience, Vortex will be receiving a 9 out of 10. Now it's time for our next category, the fun factor. In the back row, Vortex's first drop gave a powerful pop of ejector airtime. In the front row, the pop into the mid-course gave great ejector airtime. And the rest of the ride was awesome in every single row, giving great hang time on the corkscrews, and both loops and the batwing being fun and rather forceful. If you couldn't tell, what I just said was a fancy way of saying that Vortex was extremely fun. As mentioned previously on this channel, I once marathon this coaster 17 times in a row, and I don't regret one bit of it. I had so much fun despite the minor bumps here and there, and I loved every moment of it. And I know that a lot of people will disagree with me on this, but for the fun factor category, Vortex will be receiving a 10 out of 10. Now, before we get to my final score, I want to go over a few of my overall thoughts on the ride. Before leaving Kings Island in 2019, Vortex was my third favorite 
roller coaster in the park. I loved it just that much, and I was honestly quite devastated when it was announced that it would go. And yeah, I totally understand that it was a much better business and financial decision removing Vortex due to its rising maintenance costs and very low ridership, but that doesn't mean I won't miss it. And now, for Vortex's final score, it will be receiving a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I'm upset that I still can't ride it today, however, I'm sure that when it inevitably gets replaced, Kings Island will make sure to replace it with something awesome. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up this video. If you rode Vortex, what did you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below, and be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time on Hang Time Thrills.